<laughs> oh, what a day. What a day, eh? A beach swale, eh? Hey, pull your skirt down for Christ's sake. Show a bit of respect. Oh, geez, we haven't been recording. <laughs> now we have. She's had enough, I reckon. Look at her. Look at this, will you? Only a short ride today, and look at her. Yes, 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 yes. Part two of the Apollo Bay ride. Well, I accidentally cut you off. Flash the toilet, for Christ's sake. There's the other shooter right there. What's this, mate? It's a stick. Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, so snake scary. on the brains. Well, I hope snake? she's still got a snake on the brains when we go to bed later. <laughs> Anyone that's throwing fucking food at me, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it did look exciting. Yeah. This is where we left off in the last episode. Leave at Port Camp. What a beautiful place that was. Had to be careful here of the cars creeping over. A lot of tourists on this road. Regardless of that, we're on the way, making our way through to Apollo Bay for the night. Come along with us, guys. Look at those views over there, guys. We're on the way through to Apollo Bay, still we are. Look at that. There's a couple of nice surfing waves there at the moment. There you go guys, if you haven't been here, we just come past the 12 Apostles, a couple of them over there at the right. Look at that views out over there, will ya? It's magnificent, isn't it babe? It is. It really is. And it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and we said about at 8. Anyway, we'll keep going because we ain't going down the Gibson Steps. No. Down to that beach, there's no way in hell we are. See that guys, it's not all about the ocean down through here, look at that. Look at that valley down through there, it's beautiful. Nice ride, and we'll be going inland soon for, I don't know, about 45 kilometres, I think, in the boat. Something like that. Yeah. It's about but, 85 to Apollo at the moment. Yeah, absolutely stunning, though, isn't it, eh? You can see why people want to ride this road. Although, it is a very busy road, and you've got to put up with a lot of fucking nutters. <laughs> don't you? They just want to stop in the middle of the road. Commonly known as Muppets. Yeah, comedy knows cockheads. This is a drawback, guys. Look at the buses coming down through here, will you? In traffic. They're coming from Melbourne Way. We're going towards that way at the moment, towards Apollo Bay. But, like I said, it's not all about the ocean and the views because this inland bit that we're going on now has beautiful roads, especially for motorbikes. Remind you of Tassie, all this. Yeah. It's just like Tassie, this. Yeah. If they look back on our video, the gorge camping. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. But you know, a lot of Tassies like this, not just here, isn't it? A magnificent. Anyway, upwards and beyond, babe. We'll keep going. Right, we do. We're just coming up to Labor's Hill. Through the um, Great Ocean Way. Great Ocean Roadway, I should say, on the way through to Apollo Bay. And they reckon it's where the forest meets the sea. That's what they tell us, in it, babe? So we will see. But we turn right up here, we will be. When you turn off here at Lavers Hill, it's only another 48 kilometres to our destination of Apollo Bay. Look at this, guys. It's beautiful. I just hope there's no bugs on the camera. Yeah, what guys, I'll have a look see. I don't think there is nothing major, I don't think, but in that beautiful. Look at that. It's a beautiful part of the world in the babe. Yeah, it is. Okay guys, we're here! The beautiful Apollo Bay. Just down around the corner, a couple of K's anyway. He's got a couple of white tips on the ocean there, Dave. It's a little bit breezy. We knew it was going to be that, didn't we? We did. In my word, we did. Look at that. I do like Apollo Bay. Let's hope yeah. the let's hope the lens doesn't fog up before I get get to show you. This is there. All around through there. Oh God, that feels greasy already. Does it? Yeah, I'll just wipe that off. 
here. Fuck no, it feels salty. But you've only got two fingers to use to wipe. Oh, look, I know you're funny. Oh, sometimes you crack me up while we're on the road. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, and here we go. Apollo Bay, the main street. For, for all those guys that don't know, this is it. I like a few of the towns from here on in through to Geelong and Torquay. They're all on the beach, aren't they? Yeah. And all and that, and quite a few. Uh, better watch out for these crossings. Okay, so we're going to go and get a motel room. Oh, I don't know. What's it called? Beach, beach front or something? A Norton. Yeah, give her a rev, mate. Did you give yours a rev when you went oh. past, babe? It's a bit late now. There you go. It's a bit late now. I did it right when it was a Harley. <laughs> oh, you show off. Okay, so. Here it is. Right here, beach front. That's the one. Oh, what's your old girl here? Oh, it's going to take a while to get past, babe. Yeah, no, she's looking now. She's found us. Yep. Yeah. Far out, she's slow. Yeah, mate. The beachfront motel in Apollo Bay it is overlooking the ocean. Beautiful. And they have quite nice rooms here with great off-street parking for the motorbikes. you got to love it, don't you? Just work out the best way to put these bikes. Well, I'd say front ways for me, so it lays over. Yeah, as long as it's not laying over too much. Oh, no, they're not, babe. Yep, they're not. I'll just bring my... Just come close to me if you can, sweetie. I'll just lay mine down. How far? Give me a look at you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep, that there. Yep, that's fine. She's right there like that. Okay, this is, am I recording good? Oh, sure. Yes I am, say hello. We've made it to Apollo Bay, haven't we? And this is going to be our unit for the night. Look at that, she's cut me off already. Did you hear that bip, guys? She's had enough, I reckon. Look at her, look at this, will you? Only a short ride today, and look at her. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, look at all the room for our stuff. What? First, right, well, I'm checking the wardrobe first. Nah, we've got a kitchen. Hey, bitch, you'll be cooking tea tonight. <laughs> oh, what a day. What a day, eh? Yeah. Great Ocean Road Day, guys. We're at Apollo Bay, aren't we, sweetie? Beautiful place, Apollo Bay, isn't it? Hey? Coming in here was a little bit stressful. Talk happy, they can't hear you. Oh, coming in here was a little bit stressful. Why? Tourists everywhere. Yeah, no, there was a lot of tourists yes. on the road that. So we've virtually done half of the, from Warrnambool to Apollo Bay. Mm -hmm. Well, we left about camp here, but some people say Apollo, sorry, some people say the Great Ocean Road starts at Portland. Some say Warrnambool. Who cares? We're here. We're here. Visited some of the sites today, as you may have seen on our photos. What do you reckon? I, I hope we got good photos. Yeah, well, we got a few photos, and we'll do the rest of it tomorrow, heading out to the long way tomorrow. <laughs> Going to have a look at the Harley shop there, because we've never been there. Nice. Every time we've come over to Melbourne headed that way, it's been a Sunday in the Harley. You keep things steady. Yeah, <laughs> and the Harley, the, the Harley shop has been shut, hasn't it? Yes, yes, yes. But it was a fantastic ride today, and I tell you, if anybody ever tells you, do the Great Ocean Road, oh, it's beautiful coastline. Well, that's true, very true. But you got 45, 50 kilometres, 60 kilometres, or whatever, inland, and that is Still magnificent. Nice. Still nice. On a bike. Beautiful. Like Even in the car, beautiful same scenery. It is, yeah. It is yeah. So it's every bit as good as what the Great Ocean Road is. But tomorrow from Apollo Bay in through to Geelong we go and then inland. Um, 
That's a truly magnificent too, but you won't do that to shit. Do you want to give me your adventure videos? Is that right? Highway of Dreams on two wheels. Coming to you soon. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got to get a holiday first, don't we? We've only got anyway, a week before we're back home. Exactly a week before we catch a boat. So Wednesday. Yeah, big weekend coming up though. Big weekend. Won't oh. not not commenting no. about the weekend yeah. just yet. Just There'll be a surprise for everyone. Yeah. But anyway, so we're parked out there for the night, number four, in our Apollo Bay Motel. Motel, yes. And look at this. Look at this. Look at the bugs on the bump. Can you see the bugs on there? Look. See the bugs? Third time it was clean today and look at it. Bugs everywhere. I'll tell you why. Bugs and tourists, man. Right, I'll take you in the room. I'll take you in the room. This is the love nest, as you know. Part two of the Apollo Bay ride. I accidentally cut this off. Right, so there was a the love nest, like I was saying. Now, it's got room for the bags here. Look, yeah, the other bag there. There's room for the, that bag there. And we've got a couple of seats here. See right there. We've got a kitchenette. A beach whale. Hey, pull your skirt down for Christ's sake. Show a bit of respect. And then we've got the shower. Then we've got the shitter right there. In our rusty right there. So, remember, part two, watch part one first. This is our own in Apollo Bay. We'll catch you tomorrow somewhere, some other place on the road. Well, there's the shitter. There's the shitter in there. Flush the toilet for crying's sake. There's the other shitter right there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out and about. We're going to get some tea, aren't we, babe? We are. But we'll show you a little bit first. There's part of the street up there. Can't see much of it at the moment. That's our motel across the road there, right there. They're going to steal our bikes, I reckon, but anyway. Yep. No, he's used to riding horses. He's got a Wrangler butt. Oh, okay, he's got a Wrangler butt. But, this is Apollo Bay. But I'll tell you what, Apollo Bay closes down early, doesn't it? It does. Yes. Well, we got into town at four, about four o'clock. What? About what time? I don't know. What are you doing? Nice. Do they stink? Do they? Something over there stinks. Wait a we've run out of footpath. We better go Indian file. Indian. Indian. Okay, so here we are here. We're coming down to the beach at the moment. Hey, turn it out. I've been on like three weeks. Yeah. Here we go. Great ocean walk. Oh, Jesus. Walk Victoria's icons. There you go, right there. Oh, can you see, guys? Oh, I don't know. They're little statue things. Look. Look at him. He looks like he's got snot coming out of his nose. Yeah, well, he does. They're funny, aren't they? Don't touch them. Why? You'll get us in trouble. I'll take you over. Look at the seals. This. This here is the Great Ocean Walk. Now, see that there, guys. That's no different than Kim walking across our motel room floor of night when she's pissed going to the toilet. That would, that is what it would be like for her to like walk this, on it. Like this. Yeah, that that would be what it's like. See? Like this. Yep, yeah, exactly like that. After we've had a couple of drinks in the boat. Yep. Anyway, we've got a couple of seals over here. <laughs> we got a couple of seals. Yeah, no, that's true. We'll go down here and we'll show you. Will we not? We'll show ya. We'll show ya. See what it's about. Yep. Here we go. Couple um, of seals. You gotta watch out. Yeah, there's a lot of tourists around. Do you know Here we go. Look. That's our seals. They've been carved from a tree. I reckon a macrocarpa just looking at it. Because look, that looks like a macrocarpa tree to me. That there looks like a macrocarpa, and that looks like a macrocarpa. So, oh, I reckon them seals are macrocarpa too, seals. Yeah. Yep. Yes. I reckon I'm right. Not often I'm wrong. Is it? So says you. <laughs> so says me. You ask me, 
I'll tell you. No dogs on the beach? No, no dogs on the beach. You wait here for a while while I go down the beach, can you? Babe, you can't go on Just the beach. Just wait here, B. Babe, no, no dog, dogs allowed. Well, you're the horse. <laughs> you wish I was. <laughs> All right, we're out and about. You're the mule, actually. You're gonna get, you're gonna get sand in your Harley boots. Watch out for snakes. Jeez, the tide's in. Look. Oh, it is. That's a fair way. Yep. Oh, jeez, we haven't been recording. <laughs> no, we have. <laughs> no, we have. I was only joking. There is Apollo Bay, guys. Albeit a little bit rough tonight. Not as calm as what we've seen it before. There's the um, wharf over there, over there in the distance. It's not bad, is it, babe? It's nice if you're a surfer. Yeah, I guess so. You cold? No, no. You've got your jacket on. It is a bit chilly. And you've got jeans on. Yes. Look. Oh, Rusty, you've yeah. got nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got something. I've only got shorts got on. I've got chinos. I've got chinos on. Yeah, he's fresh. Yeah. But we're going. We're going to George's. We can get some pizza. We'll show you George's pizza. Yep. It's a snake. It's a stick. Oh. Okay. Jeez. Oh, snake scary. on the brains. Well, I hope snake. she's still got snake on the brains when we go to bed later. <gasps> Look at our fountain there. Have a drink of it. I think it's a dog fountain. It's not a dog fountain. Yes, Look, it, all the water runs down. So look. Yeah, but See it running down? want to go and drink it? I think Jeez, that Harley sounds better than yours. Yeah, that got, sounds better than yours. He hasn't got Reinhardt pipes. He's got Vance and Hines. So you want a Vance and Hines, no, did you? I like mine. Oh, okay. You hear that, Darren Sales? She likes hers. You and Dinah Mad just done a good job on mine. Yeah, of course we did. I done the filming, he done the work. <laughs> That's, That's the way, way I like it. Yeah. Okay, we've got to go, guys. Because it's the we, way you roll. Yes. We are down the main, main street of Apollo Bay. Everyone's looking at us because they can hear us. But there we go. Going across the uh, Yep. Got to stop. And we're going down there to George's. Yep. Gonna get a food, aren't we, we'll Come back to you with the pizza. Yeah, we'll come back with you to the pizza soon. So where are we, Rusty? We're at George's in Apollo Bay. George's takeaway. And we're getting pizza and chips for tea, aren't we? We are. Yeah, we are. We're taking it back to the room. It's actually been renovated since we were last year, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. It's actually. quite nice, actually. Yeah, yep. it's done up. Even the front of the shop's been done up well, too. Yeah, look at it. I'll show you around. I'll pan you around. So it says George's. Menu. Pizzas. Back to Rusty. Quite nice in here though. Don't, like, don't make it obvious you feel them. Well, I don't think it doesn't worry me. <laughs> it doesn't worry me. Oh, yeah. We'll catch you back at the unit and we'll show you the pizza, guys. Won't we? Yeah. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Right, we got the goods, haven't we? We got the goods. See, pizza there. Cut little chips there. Yep. That's right. That's us. Well, we eat, we eat. We're a family. We're a family. Family size pizza. What's not family about this size? <laughs> <laughs> We're going back now to um, eat at our motel room, aren't we? Get our lunch. Yep. Yep. What was on? Uh, what? No, I don't know. I don't know what's in there. You're making stories though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, me and Ruth. I think Kim's making stories up well, now. It looked like night pub. Uh, it wasn't. It was a fucking teriyaki bar or something. <laughs> a teppanyaki. Thinking that teppanyaki. That's really good. Yeah. Anyone yeah. yeah, that's throwing fucking food at me, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it did look exciting. Yeah. All right, we're going back to the hotel room. We'll show you the pizza back there, guys. Bye. She's about to get undressed then, but then she changed. <laughs> when I told the GoPro to start recording. There she gone. Right, this is our pizza. 
Look at that. That looks pretty good, don't it? And we've got tippies here. After tea, we progressed out the front and met a lovely couple from Spain on their honeymoon. Now this bloke here, he rides a bike back home, so he wanted to feel what a Harley felt like. Lift it up. Feel how heavy it is. Oh, hang on. I'll just um, unlock the this one, so you can turn it. No, it's got no steering lock on it. Remember that no, one? You can't. You can. Because I locked it. That's for the engine, babe. <laughs> That's for the. It's your bike. It's your bike. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. okay. This just tells you how pissed Kim was. Yeah. No, it's not locked. No, it's not locked. <laughs> no, it's for the ignition. Heavier than yours? It's a little bit heavy, but mine. Uh, there you go, Nadia. Buy him a Harley Davidson. Really nice. Really nice. It'd be a good Thank wedding you. present for him. Thank you very much. <laughs> Three something Beautiful. for mine. Three hundred and twenty kilos. I'm going to buy one. See? For a wedding present. A wedding present, Go Nadia. <laughs> we had a great time sitting and talking all night long out the front. As I said, they were just on our honeymoon. And they were about to do the rest of Great Ocean Road the next day towards Warrnambool Way. No, don't start it up. She can buy you a wedding present. Wedding present. Trade it in for a Harley Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't mind. We had a fantastic time with this couple, learning about their travels and everything. We exchanged numbers and that so we could keep in contact. Tried on my bike for size, more like the one he's got back home, he said. In Spanish, me gustan todas. What's that? <laughs> I love old bikes. Thank you, that's exactly right. Okay, so we're leaving the beautiful Apollo Bay. So he's calmed down a bit overnight. It was a windy night, wasn't it? It was. A very windy night. But as you can see, the sea is calming off. And now it's very warm. Oh, very warm, yes. A strom is actually showing 31 at the moment. Our phones were saying it was near 30 degrees, so... Yes, 31 degrees at 8.30 left. in the morning when we left. Well, we never really knew what we are going to be in for. Knew it was going to get windy, we knew it was going to get hot, but not how bad it panned out. I tell you, what a nightmare. <laughs>